Hi, I'm Patty and I'm a prepper. Thanks for coming back. I told you in my last video that I would hop on real quick and make a video about my everyday carry. So here we are. Um, everyday carry to me is the items that are at my fingertips that will help me facilitate getting through the day safely. So let's start with my cell phone. On my cell phone, I don't have any credit card information or passwords saved. The only thing that's um, critical to me on this phone is the images, and they are backed up daily. So this is just a tool. I'm okay if that gets lost or stolen. It's not a big deal. Let's see, the next thing, tourniquet. I'm a firm believer that if you carry a weapon, you should carry a tourniquet. It can save your life, and it can save somebody else's life. Um, tourniquets go bags, things like that. I like to look at Fieldcraft Survival. They're on the internet, they're on locals.com, and they're also on Instagram. They have training, they have med kits, they have go bags, all kinds of great stuff. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is my keys. I carry those clipped to me. I don't carry them in my purse because if for some reason somebody steals my purse or my purse is stolen, I don't have access to my car. This is gonna get me home. Um, my ignition key is notched so that I can feel it in the dark, and it also is um, identified on the front. It's labeled. I just have some nail polish on it, but it makes it easy to identify the key in a case of an emergency. So I keep those with me. I keep this with me. I have several options for concealed carry. I have my concealed carry permit. I have different weapons, and I have different ways of carrying the weapons um, just to make it easier because I'm a chick and I need options. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you're gonna carry concealed, you need, need to get training, and I would suggest my friends over at I-68 Consulting. They can get you your concealed carry class, and they can give you education, um, so I would take a look at them. I carry my weapon chambered, because to me, an emergency, a fraction of a second is gonna make a difference, so carrying a bullet in that chamber to me is crucial. I also carry a second magazine. In the event that the bullets in this gun didn't take care of the job, this is going to do it. So that's what I carry on my person. And this is what I carry within uh, fingers reach. This is my handbag and it looks kind of big because it's actually a camera bag. I'm a photographer and um, sometimes I carry my camera with me and this bag offered that uh, a, an insert to make that an option for me and keep it safe. Um, we oftentimes spend a lot of time in the backcountry four-wheeling, and I didn't want to have to take a second bag, so this works great for me. Um, on the outside pocket, I have my sunglasses, crucial to me. At this altitude, the sun just glares, so um, I use these all the time. These are indispensable to me. I picked these up, uh, prescription sunglasses at Ventnor Vision, love their office. Um, this side has got lotion, because it's Colorado. It has hand sanitizer, stay clean and hygienic. It has lip cream, because I'm a chick. And it has my gym membership card in here. I am not one to carry my gym membership card on my keychain, just because I don't like everybody and their brother to know where I'm going, when I'm going. Uh, and where they can find me. So it's just a bit of situational awareness that maybe that's not something you want to keep on your keychain. Um, this little doodad that is affixed to my bag is a CPR mask. I'm certified in CPR and this just gives me an added level of protection. It has a one-way valve and a barrier um, just so that I wouldn't necessarily get sick if I gave you CPR. Let's see, this outside pocket has a notepad, phone charger, because my phone's always dying, it has an energy bar, some mittens, a mask, because COVID. Um, let's see, some gum, a nail file, headphones, normal things that'll help you get through the day. On the front pockets, I have, within finger's reach, a tourniquet. Usually there's two tourniquets in here. I just took one out to show you. Um, put it in my back pocket for now. Um, in the military, there's an expression, uh, two is one, one is none. If something's crucial for you to get through the day, you should have two of them, uh, at least. So I typically have three, but there's a tourniquet. 
This pocket has a knife. This knife is multi-purpose, and I love this knife because it has the seatbelt slicer, it has the window breaker, it has a little flashlight, it has fire starter, and it also has a blade. Now, because this has a fire starter, I also carry these magic little things. These are cotton balls um, covered in petroleum jelly. And if you've never heard this trick before, oh my gosh, it's going to be a, a game changer for you. Um, these will light in all kinds of conditions with just a little bit of spark. Um, they'll be great in uh, high winds, high moisture situations. So I love these guys. I put them in all of our kits, and you should too. Let's see, in here we have tissue, because I'm a grandma. We have more lip gloss, because it's Colorado. And then inside of this bag is an insert. For me, this was crucially important because this keeps my camera safe when I'm in the backcountry. So it has a second, it has sections so I can keep my camera in here. And I don't carry my camera all the time. Um, so I can just take this out and it really reduces the profile of that bag. So here I have my wallet. I have way too much junk, we'll say, in my wallet. Um, I should just have my concealed carry permit, my driver's license, a credit card, and some cash. Um, I have all kinds of other doodads in here, which uh, it's just a little bulky and it gives people too much information. Um, you shouldn't necessarily carry your medical cards and things like that with you all the time. Um, you're just giving people way too much information if you lose or somebody steals your bag. This is my emergency kit. In this kit, if for some reason I was separated from my car, these are the things that I think would help me out in an emergency situation. This is a charger, an external charger, so I can charge my phone. Because God knows I'm going to need it. This is the uh, charger for that, so it can charge on a car. But this is a compression bandage. A compression bandage um, can be used for a lot of things. Not every wound needs a tourniquet. So a compression bandage is a really good idea. Um, Boo Boo Kit, this has four by fours, bandages, gloves in there. This is a Mylar blanket. It can keep me warm. I can make a shelter with it. Um, if somebody's uh, been injured and they've gone into shock, this is gonna be crucial to keep their core body temperature up. I have additional ways of starting a fire. So now I have three ways of starting a fire in here. So obviously this is important to me in the cold, climate that I live in is something I need to make sure is taken care of. Duct tape. <laughs> Everybody needs duct tape. Uh, duct tape can be used to pull the edges of a wound together. It can be used for rips and tears. It can be used in conjunction with other things to create a shelter. Duct tape has a myriad of um, uses. It, it, you, you should really carry that in your kit. This is a, a glow stick, and a glow stick I would use if I was walking along the side of the road if I wanted people to be able to see me. And there should also be in here a headlamp, which for some reason it's not in here, so I'll have to figure that out. These are the things that are my everyday carry. Your everyday carry is going to be different than my everyday carry. Your everyday carry could include Binkies and Cheerios yeah, if you're a mom. If you live in the country, this could be underkill for you. You may need a lot more in your everyday carry. It all depends on where we are in that spectrum from band-aiding your handbook to societal collapse. So this is what I carry. This is what makes me feel safe. If you have any questions about the items that you've seen here or the companies that I've mentioned, don't hesitate to give me a call. And I appreciate you taking the time to look at the video. Thanks so much.